हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड मैप टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज नीति आयोग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन देन कॉम्पोजिशन देन डिपार्टमेंट अंडर नीति आयोग अदर प्रोविजन कंपेरिजन बिटवीन नीति आयोग एंड प्लानिंग कमीशन इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ नीति आयोग एंड प्रॉब्लम एसोसिएटेड विद नीति आयोग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक द नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन फॉर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इंडिया और नीति आयोग वॉज फॉर्म वाई अ रेजोल्यूशन ऑफ द यूनियन कैबिनेट एंड इट केम इन टू एफर्ट ऑन जनवरी फर्स्ट ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन इट टुक द प्लेस ऑफ द प्लानिंग कमीशन विच वॉज ऑल्सो सेट वाई अ रेजोल्यूशन ऑफ द कैबिनेट इन मार्च नाइनटीन फिफ्टी नीति आयोग इज नीदर अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल बॉडी नॉर अ स्टैट्यूटरी बॉडी दस इट इज एन एक्स्ट्रा कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल बॉडी It is a premier policy think tank of the government of India providing both directional and policy inputs. Now moving on to its composition. The composition of Niti Aayog is as follows: Prime Minister of India as the chairperson, governing council comprising the chief ministers of all the states, chief ministers of union territories with legislator and lieutenant governors or administrators of other union territories. and experts specialists and practitioners with relevant domain knowledge are nominated by the prime minister as special invitees full time organizational frameworks vice chair persons to be appointed by the prime minister he enjoys the rank of a cabinet minister full time members they enjoy the rank of a minister of state part time members maximum of 2 from leading universities research organizations and other relevant institutions in an ex officio capacity ex officio members maximum of 4 members of the union council of ministers to be nominated by the prime minister chief executive officer to be appointed by the prime minister for a fixed tenure in the rank of secretary to the government of india and secretariat as deemed necessary now moving on to departments under niti aayog first is regional councils of niti aayog they are formed to address specific issues and contingencies impacting more than one state or region these will be formed for a specified tenure the regional councils will be convened by the prime minister and will comprise of then chief minister of states and lieutenant governors of uts in the region these are chaired by the chairperson of the niti aayog or his nominee next is specialized wings of niti aayog research wing it develops in house sectoral expertise as a dedicated think tank of top notch domain experts specialists and scholars consultancy wing it provides a marketplace of vetted panels of expertise and funding for governments to tap into matching their requirements with solution providers public and private national and international team india wing comprising representatives from every state and ministry serves as a permanent platform from national collaboration each representative ensures that every state or ministry has a continuous voice and a stake in the niti aayog establishment a direct communication channel between the state or ministry and niti aayog for all development related matters now let's discuss about some other provisions first is mandates and objectives niti aayog provides relevant technical advice to the center and the states it aims to design strategic and long term policy program frameworks and initiatives and monitor their progress and efficacy its own policy of thinking is also shaped by a bottom up approach rather than top down model it acts as the quintessential platform of the government of india to bring states to act together in the national interest and thereby fosters cooperative federalism it seeks to end slow and tardy implementation of policy by fostering better interministry and center and state coordination it is also mandated to bring cooperative competitive federalism and to improve center state relations it also aims to provide advice and encourage partnerships between key stakeholders and national international think tanks and other organizations it aims to offer a platform for the resolution of intersectoral and interdepartmental issues next is functions the various functions performed by the niti aayog can be divided into four main heads design policy and program framework foster cooperative federalism monitoring and evaluation think tank and knowledge and innovation hub the niti aayog is functionally divided into various verticals which are responsible for examining and looking into sectoral issues and priorities for national development and economic growth agriculture energy health governance and research human resource development industry women and child development are some of the many verticals 
गार्डिंग प्रिंसिपल अंत्योदय इट एडवोकेट्स प्रायोरिटाइजिंग सर्विसेज एंड अपलिफ्टमेंट ऑफ द पुअर एंड मार्जिनलाइज सेक्शन एज एनिटेड इन पंडित दीनदयाल उपाध्याय आइडिया ऑफ अंत्योदय इंक्लूजन इंक्लूजन ऑफ द वर्नरेबल एंड मार्जिनलाइज सेक्शन एंड रिड्रेसिंग आइडेंटिटी बेस्ड इन इक्वालिटीज रीजन रिलीजन कास्ट एंड क्लास विलेज इंटीग्रेटिंग विलेज इज इन टू द डेवलपमेंट प्रोसेस टू ड्रॉ ऑन द वाइटैलिटी एंड एनर्जी ऑफ द बेडरॉक ऑफ आर इथोस कल्चर एंड सस्टेनेंस Demographic dividend harness our greatest asset the people of India by focusing on their development through education and skilling people's participation transform the developmental process into a people driven one making an awakened and participative citizenry the driver of good governance governance nurture an open transparent accountable proactive and purposeful style of governance transitioning focus from outlet to output to outcome sustainability maintain sustainability at the core of our planning and developmental process and building our ancient tradition of respect for the environment non comparison between niti ayog and planning commission niti ayog focuses upon bottom up approach of planning while planning commission followed a top down approach the niti ayog has neither the mandate nor the authority to impose policies on states the niti ayog is a think tank and advisory organization While the Planning Commission had the authority to enforce policies on states as well as projects that it had approved, the Niti Aayog has not been granted the authority to allocate funds, and Planning Commission had the authority to distribute funding to state governments and other ministries. Secretaries to be known as CEO appointed by Prime Minister, while secretaries were appointed through usual process in Planning Commission. Niti Aayog serves in spirit of cooperative federalism as states are equal partners while planning commission states participated as spectators in annual plan meetings now lastly let's discuss about the importance of niti aayog first is parity in regional development the major focus of niti aayog is on historically backward and neglected regions such as northeast special mechanisms have been evolved under the ambit of aayog such as niti forum for northeast it aims to identify various constraints in the way of inclusive and sustainable economic growth fostering cooperative and competitive federalism state governments have been given prominence in the functioning of niti aayog to encourage states niti aayog has developed various indices such as innovation index and digital transformation index which measure the performances of the states aayog also fosters the resolution of issues between the central ministries and state and uts striving for inclusive growth to ensure inclusive development niti aayog has started an initiative for the transformation of 115 aspirational districts apart from that policies like digital payments monitoring implementation of sdgs has also been taken up by niti aayog various economic reforms in apmc act rejuvenating fertilizer sector etc are also initiated to ensure inclusive growth problem associated with niti aayog are Niti Aayog has no powers in granting discretionary funds to states which renders it toothless to undertake a transformational intervention. It doesn't have any constitutional or statutory backing which makes it more vulnerable to vested political interest. It acts as an advisory body only that advises the government on various issues without ensuring the enforceability of its ideas. It has no role in influencing public or private investment and it does not seem to have an influence in policy making. with long term consequences now it's time for the practice questions first of all prelims question who of the following is the part of the governing council of niti aayog all chief ministers of the states chief ministers of delhi and puducherry lieutenant governor of andaman and nicobar island or all of the above and now mains question how are the principles followed by the niti aayog different from those followed by the erstwhile planning commission in india So that's all for today stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching